Hey guys, Fox here with a updated, a Serif Pure Light deck profile for you guys today. Uh, with the festival booster that just came out in English finally, we did get a new card that really helped the deck out. The deck has not changed in a very long time, at least as far as, you know, what people would perceive as like an optimal build. Um, so we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, this is like my first build, so we're going to test around and see it might change a little bit. But I'm uh, going to test it out tonight and see how it goes. Um, in theory, really feel like I'm going to enjoy this build a lot because it's a little bit different. Um, we haven't gotten new support for the deck in a long time. We do have the promo um, that allows you to search the, um, the Serif Grade 4 and the other ones for Bruce and Bastion coming out eventually. Um, in English, so we'll go ahead and get into the deck profile. So starting off for the ride line, uh, still running the Grade Three Seraph Snow. Uh, for those of you who don't know, her Vanguard ability is during your turn. If one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets 10,000 power, and if three or more are imprisoned, it gets Drive plus one. Um, so we'll just go ahead and pull the prison out because it is what the entire deck runs around. I'm sure if you. Most of you that are coming to that growth file already know, um, but for those of you who don't, the prison is a set order that stays on the field. Um, so what it does is to play it, you have to rest one of your units to play it, and you put it in your order zone and soul charge three. And in your order zone, when your opponent can normal call a rear guard, they must perform the following. Like to get a card out of the prison, they have to soul boss one, they can choose one of their imprisoned cards and call it to rear guard, or they can counterblast one to choose two and call them to rear guard. So the control style. Um, and then Seraph Snow's second ability is you can counterblast one, choose two of your opponent's rear guards, and imprison them in your prison. Uh, so really good. If your opponent does decide to call units to the rear guard circle, you're going to get that uh, triple drive on your first grade three ride, whether you go first or second. Um, and then for the starter, has the same ability as all the other starters in Overdress. If you went second and you ride upon it, you draw a card. Uh, the grade one, going out of order here. Uh, the grade one, uh, can I blue? When it's placed on Vanguard, you search your deck for up to one prison card, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind when you're playing this deck, obviously, uh, for you veteran person players, you want to keep a grade one or grade zero because you have to rest a card to play your prison. You don't want to keep, uh, you want to keep a card other than your PG, obviously, because you don't want to call your PG to rear guard circle to rest to play your prison. Uh, her rear guard ability does not ever come up because you never call her to rear guard. You only run the one copy in the ride deck. Uh, but it's when placed on rear, if one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, you counterblast one, so less one and draw. Uh, the grade two, when it's placed on vanguard circle, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and prisons in your prison, so you get that uh, prison started early. Um, and then the rear guard circle effect, again, like the grade one, you never use it, but if one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, it gets 2,000 power. Uh, then moving on to the main deck, we are still running four of the boss of the deck and the best card of the deck still have the one SP I pulled from my sneak kit uh, for Aurora Fierce Princess Seraph Pure Light. When it's placed on Vanguard Circle, Counterboss 1 and Solvast 1 card with Seraph in its card name, so herself or the Grade 3 from your ride deck, your opponent chooses two cards each from their hand, their rear guard, and from their hand, rear guard, and soul, and imprisons them in your prison. Sorry, my brain fart there. And then uh, continuous on Vanguard Circle during your turn, all of your front row units get 5,000 for every two of your opponent's cards imprisoned in your prison. And then if 10 or more cards are imprisoned in your prison, all of your front row units get plus one critical. So really amazing pressure, still a really good card. Um, it's not quite as strong as it was uh, when it first came out. It's kind of gotten power crept. Uh, but I feel like it's still a really good, um, like, tier 2 deck. I feel like it can still catch a lot of people off guard. And when you do get that 10 cards in prison, it really uh, swings for really big numbers. And uh, if you, you catch your opponent off guard, you can still really uh, end the game very quickly. 
And then the new card that I was talking about is the uh, Regalis piece. Um, so uh, something to keep in mind, you can only have one Regalis piece in your deck and you can only use it one time in a fight. So if you run this, you cannot run the Regalis piece PG. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're building your deck. So this is for Biddle Surrogate. Uh, I really like the art as well. Uh, you can see she's holding a, I oh, can't remember, it's not a crucifix. Um, it's like a uh, pen cushion doll. So you surge your deck or drop for up to a total of two grade three or four unit cards with different card names and reveal them. You call all revealed grade three cards to rear guard and put all revealed grade four cards into hand. And if you search your deck, shelf your deck. So it's really amazing. So what you do is you search your Seraph Pure Lights from your drop zone um, or your deck, as well as if you've already soul blasted your Seraph Snow for um, your Seraph Pure Lights ability, you can add it from your drop zone because it is a grade three, um, or you call it rather. Uh, but her, she can use her Counter Blast 1 ability on Rear Guard, so do keep that in mind. So that's really good. And then the other Grade 3 we're running for the Forbid All Surrogate, uh, which we did get in Set 10, which we can now run, is um, Penetrate Aquas. I uh, really like her art as well. So when this unit is placed on Rear Guard, your opponent chooses a card from their drop and imprisons it in their prison. And then she has an ability on rear guard and guardian circle. If two or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets plus 5,000 power and plus 10,000 shield. Similar to the card we got way back in set one, uh, Agro Rouge. So really good in that aspect. And then for the battle that this unit attacked, when your opponent will call cards from their hand to guardian circle, they must call two or more cards at the same time. Um, so really good in that aspect. So I feel like Forbid All Surrogate was exactly what this deck needed. Uh, really helps with the consistency uh, because before you were just hoping to get this in your opening hand by mulliganing or drawing into it via Persona Ride or your uh, Shovel Stud. But now with the Surrogate, you could search it out. You can call this to Rear Guard. Like I said, if you use her ability and you draw into this, you can get the Seraph Snow to rear guard and imprison more cards in your prison. So I feel like this just makes the deck so much more fluid. And I can't wait to try out the deck and see how much more powerful it has made the deck. So I feel like it may even bump it back up to uh, way more competitive and feel like it'll help it in the matchups that it was struggling. And then moving on to grade twos, we're running four Accused Macarite still. Uh, the promo, um, I want to say, I can't remember if it got reprinted, but anyways. So when this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, you use Soul Blast 1 and your opponent imprisons the top card of the deck in your prison face up. And then if two or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, it gets 5k into one turn. Uh, so it gives you another card to imprison to get to that 10 for the extra critical. And it also gets power, so it does everything you want in the deck. And then we are still running four Cuff Spring. When it's placed on rear guard, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and presents in your prison. And if it was imprisoned, they draw a card. So a lot of times when your opponent's getting low on hand, all they have left is their defensive cards. So they are either imprisoning a 15K shield, a perfect guard, or sometimes even like when you have your Seraph at 10 already, they're gonna be imprisoning those cards that um, like the effect heals. Uh, so a lot of people aren't running those, but you know, situationally, the effect heals that get the plus shield when your unit has the uh, crit gain from an effect. So really good card. Um, can also snipe PGs if they have a low hand. Then to round, not to round out the grade twos, but we are running three Barrage uh, Tra or Litra. Uh, very hard pronouncing it pronunciation there uh, on rear guard when your opponent's unit is retired from rear guard or guardian circle during the battle this unit attacked and prison that retired card in your prison uh, so really good you can call it early to rush if you need to in certain mashups or you can call it on your big swing turns if, and attack with it first to get that 10 in soul um, or not in soul but in prison rather so it's very good to build up your prison count 
and really good card overall. I'm coming around to it. I didn't like it when it first came out, but it's growing on me. I uh, really like it in the deck. And then still running to Agro Rouge. Um, at times, it can be um, can be a little bit dead uh, because you do imprison a lot with your grade four now. But it is really good in the situations it does come in clutch um, because we do have uh, it does help you soul blast and get the cards in drop for you forbid all surrogate as well. Uh, so on rear guard, guardian circle continuous, if two or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, it gets plus 5k power and plus 10k shield. And when it is placed on rear guard, you still last one. Choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and prison in your prison. It's so really good. Helps build the prison and it's a very good defensive card. And uh, yeah, really love her art if you're in redheads. And really amazing that this set one card is still being ran. Um just speaks to the um i guess the forethought of the designers to make cards that are uh, balanced but good enough to last and then we are running four violet dragon like i said we cannot run more than one uh of the regalis piece uh, same effect as the other pgs if you have uh, two or more cards in hand you have to discard if not you don't have to discard so and then we are still running four Shovel Stud, the best grade one in the deck. Uh, the only, um, I believe it's the only, yeah, the only really grade one booster in the deck, uh, but the only one you really need. Uh, so once per turn effect on rear guard circle, counter bus one, so bus one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and imprison your prison. If they have three or more cards in prison, you draw a card. Uh, more likely than not, they're always going to have that three cards in prison come your grade three turn. Um, so you're just always going to be drawing a card. It's going to help you find all the pieces you need, going to help you find your order, and it's going to help you pop off. It's going to help you find your grade fours as well. Uh, so just really one of the best cards in the deck, um, and another card from set one that's still being run to this day. And then moving on to triggers, uh, still running the Elder Breath, um, not getting replaced by the Festival Collection triggers because it's one of the best over triggers. From the nations, um, running four of just the generic regular uh, heal triggers. You can run two of the um, if a unit has attacked two or more times, get 15k shield. But I feel like this covers all your matchups evenly. But if you do want to run those, you can. Three effect draws that get the shield. Uh, four effect crits and uh, four regular crits. Um, yeah, I feel like you want to run the eight crits because you want to finish the games as quickly as possible. Um, more of a, it is a control deck, but like I said, when you get those 10 cards and soul with your grade four, um, you definitely want to be finishing the game as quickly as possible. And when you check those crits and you're swinging for three damage, you can just end the game with one of your rear guard attacks. Uh, so yeah, definitely really excited to see how the deck performs tonight. Um, definitely keep you guys updated. If I change the deck, let me know what other deck profiles you'd like to see from the festival collection. Um, definitely gonna bring you guys some matches, so look forward to that. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.